Hey, what's up, Facebook friends? How are y'all tonight? I ain't been on in a while, um, but I just want to tell y'all, I've got something very interesting coming for you pretty soon. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, we have a uh, very interesting Senate race going on right now in the state of Alabama between um, Doug Jones and uh, um, Roy Moore. And it has the potential to be a very uh, close race that some people are even thinking that um, Jones may be. Roy Moore, which would be unheard of um, any other time for a Republican in Alabama to lose a statewide office. That just doesn't happen. Um, and there's been some polls out actually showing Jones in the lead, which is stunning for this state. Um, but I've started getting into that. Um, I'm not going to delve in on it too much tonight. Um, for those of you who don't know um, about these people, uh, the Republican candidate, or the, excuse me, the Democratic candidate, uh, the Democratic nominee, Doug Jones, is now I think attorney in private practice here in Birmingham, but I first heard about him almost 20 years ago when he started reinvestigating the uh, 16th Street Baptist Church bombing that happened here in 1963 and won two convictions against um, uh, Bobby Frank Cherry and Thomas Blanton. That's when I first heard of him. And then they, earlier this year they said he was going to run for Senate. And... and uh, then on the Republican side, it's uh, for, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of by now, Judge Roy Moore, um, who was Supreme Court Justice twice of Alabama, um, and ran for governor twice, too. He actually came and was, and was removed from office twice, too, <laughs> too for violating um, Supreme Court orders. So, um, he's the Republican candidate, and... Uh, so he ran for governor twice. Uh, he defeated Luther Strange in the primary and in the runoff, and now he's a Republican nominee. So I'm really going to get into these numbers for you soon. Um, but I'm going to, um, I wish I could figure out how to, way to put a statewide map up here, but I can't do that. So I may just have to draw it and just show people what this is about. But I've already started looking into the numbers um, um, and where this race is going to be decided. Um, and this is, this is my element. I'm pretty good at this stuff right here. Um, I'm not trying to boast, but I'm pretty good at calling races. And uh, I think we have an interesting matchup uh, that's going to be taking place between these two guys. Um, and it's, 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 it's going to be fun to watch. So anyway, um, I'm going to get started on that or get more into it. i got to buy a notebook because I've got a lot of uh, numbers to calculate here. But um, uh Anyway, um, I'm going to get that ready for you, and I'm going to release it. I'm going to do it probably the first night before, um, or the first, or the, excuse me, the Monday night. Hmm, should I do it the Monday before the runoff, before the election, or Monday night before? I'm going to do it probably the Wednesday night before the runoff, uh, like on December, what, 6th? But um, anyway, uh, it's going to be a great race, um, and... Uh, Hope y'all enjoy the video and the prediction that I make. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great evening.